Batman the Movie Frank Gorshin reprised his role for Riddler in the feature film Batman, released in 1966. The film was released soon after the first season of the show, and thus, the character was unchanged from his TV version. In the film, Riddler is part of the United Underworld, an alliance of the four most dangerous villains in Gotham City, comprised of the Quizmaster himself, alongside Joker, Penguin, and Catwoman. They get their hands on a dehydrator that can turn humans into dust, but are eventually defeated by Batman and Robin. But I must, I must! Oh, outwitting Batman is my sole delight, my joy, my heaven on earth, my very paradise. Batman. Riddler's first appearance was in the iconic Batman series which debuted in 1966. Portrayed by Frank Gorshin in the first and third seasons, and by John Astin in the second season, Riddler became one of the most iconic Batman villains, and his popularity soared thanks to this show. Gorshin's portrayal of the character differed greatly from the comics version at the time. He introduced the manic obsession with puzzles and proving Batman wrong, while also redefining the look of Riddler. He was the first villain to appear on the show. Besides the traditional green jumpsuit, Riddler wore a green business suit decorated with black question marks and a derby hat as an alternative costume. This interpretation of the character would prove to be hugely popular. The finest achievement in crime shall be culminated tonight. The end of Batman and Robin. Batman Forever. Riddler's next live-action appearance is in Batman Forever, where he is portrayed by Jim Carrey. This version of the character is an eccentric researcher named Edward Nigma who works for Wayne Enterprises. When Bruce Wayne rejects his invention and terminates his project, Nigma becomes the Riddler and decides to prove his intellectual superiority to Bruce Wayne. He teams up with Two-Face and the two terrorize Gotham City. Riddler eventually finds the true identity of Batman, but the Dark Knight finds a way to turn Nigma's invention against him and eventually sends him to Arkham Asylum. Riddler's traditional look of green jumpsuit covered with question marks is back alongside his domino mask, but unlike the previous incarnation, this Riddler also carries a golden cane shaped like a question mark and has red hair. For if knowledge is power, then a god am. <sighs> Legends of the Superheroes Frank Gorshin returned one last time to portray Riddler in this two-part live-action television special which aired in 1979. Riddler only appeared in the first episode where he is part of the Legion of Doom, alongside many other villains. They declare that they have planted a hidden bomb and proceed to fight the superheroes, but are defeated. Riddler appears with his traditional green jumpsuit which is covered with question marks, wearing a domino mask. One more time! What humanoid creature was spawned in a swamp and is feared for and why? <laughs> Batman on Star Commercials. Riddler is one of the villains in the Batman OnStar commercials where he is portrayed by Brian Stepanek. Airing from 2000 to 2002, Riddler appears in the sixth commercial and sends Batman a riddle, interpretation of the character. Which character would you like us to do next? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you at the next one!